daily devotionals for March 11th. Today's scripture reading will be Exodus 14 verses 24 through 27. Now it came to pass in the morning watch that the Lord looked down upon the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and cloud. Do you know God looks down through our time of difficulties, okay? What looks impossible? He sees right through it. And he troubled the army of the Egyptians. And he took off their chariot wheels. So they drove them with difficulty. And the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fights for them and against the Egyptians. And that is what God does for you. Remember, it looks like everything was against the Israelites. They're going, you know, they get to the Red Sea and now it's like, this is impossible. And now they have to wait. They call upon the Lord. Moses stretches forth the rod in the, the sea parts, the pillar and the, uh, the cloud come and stand there. God is working on their behalf. And now, now it says he looks down through that pillar in the cloud. Okay, he is for us and not against us. He is about to do his business. He starts disarming the enemy. Okay, he took the wheels off of their chariots. They, they started like, they're still, they're still trying to pursue. But, verse 26, Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the waters may come back upon the Egyptians, on their chariots, and on their horsemen. See, when God moves when he says then we take action remember we stay there in a place of peace and now he says to Moses again stretch forth your hand where he stretched forth his hand the first time to part the sea so they would cross on dry land okay and here come the Egyptians hot pursuit now he says stretch forth your hand again so the water is going to Receipt is going to come back over and on top of them. So Moses stretches out his hand over the sea, and when the morning appeared, the sea returned to its full depth. While the Egyptians were fleeing into it, so the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the seas. That is just amazing. So the water returned, the covered the chariots, the horsemen, and you know, it was a victory for the Israelites. Now, I'm going to read verse 31. Thus Israel saw the great work which the Lord had done in Egypt. So the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. You know, I just think this is such a vital portion of Scripture because we tend to, you know, be strong in the Lord, okay? But yet... God wants to be strong in us. He wants us to be depend on him, okay? We are his child. We are his dependent, and we need to depend on him. And when he speaks, we move. When he says, wait, trust me, we wait, okay? We get into a lot of anxiety and stuff, and it's like, I, I, I can do this. Well, usually we can't. You know, when we, I know I'm saying this for myself, you know, I was faced with something this morning and I was like, Lord, I'm just so tired and I need, I, I need you to show me. I can't even think. I just need you to show me. I'm not doing anything. I didn't have peace. I did not have peace in my heart and my thoughts would not be settled. I need you to show me. And I just rested. I went back to sleep. And the Lord gave me a dream, which that dream had nothing to do about the situation that I was speaking to him about. It was something else. However, when I got up and I ended up turning my phone on, there was a text that was sent to me before I even prayed. This, this text was sent with the answer that I needed. See, God answered me in advance. I don't read my cell phone during the night. I'm not going to do that, okay? But he answered before I even needed the answer. Okay, it was there. I needed to trust him and wait on him. And so do you. Okay, well, I enjoyed this teaching. I hope you did. And uh, trust in the Lord, okay? And, and just uh, know that, you know, he will deliver us. He will deliver us completely from the works of the enemy. All right, when you trust him, it is 
uh, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Okay? All right. Till next time. Be blessed.